Okay, thank you all for joining us this morning. Um, firstly, I'd like to tell you how this works. So um, uh, if you could put any questions you have throughout the session in the Q&A box at the bottom of the screen, and we will answer your questions either throughout or at the end of the session. Um, we would, if you're having technical problems, please put your questions in the chat and one of our team on the line will try and help you. This webinar is being recorded and will be uploaded to our website after the event. So good morning and welcome. My name is Lisa Humphreys. I'm Group Director of Student Services and Pastoral Support. And I want to thank you for joining us for our college event this morning to uh, introduce you to Brinsbury College and the support we're gonna provide. I'm going to talk to you about the outstanding support and opportunities we have available to students whilst they're here at college. This outstanding support is offered by a number of key teams within student services and we'll talk you through how each of those teams will support you on your journey and at college. First of all, we're going to move on to our next slide and just share our outstanding with you. Uh, we were delighted that just before lockdown, Ofsted came to visit the Chichester College Group and we were judged outstanding in all categories. Chichester College Group consists of Chichester College, Brinsbury College, Hayward Seath College, Worthing College and Crawley College and we're delighted that Ofsted recognised what we do for our students across the group. Today there are a number of people um, supporting me and um, our, our colleague, my colleagues in the chat will help me answer some of your questions as we move through the session this morning. Um, but I'd like to begin by telling you about one of our services that can support you, Progression Plus. Progression Plus is a group-wide brand which is based on each campus. The team includes experts who will support you in making choices that will suit your interests and abilities and equip you with the personal and employability development that you need to make the most of your future opportunities. We know you're an individual and that's why we'll give you impartial advice and guidance on courses, employment, work experience, apprenticeships and higher education opportunities. We'll help you make the right choice for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. From the moment you start college, we start preparing you for your next steps. It's your future and we want to ensure you have the opportunity to make the most of it, starting with, career, or starting with a career that matches your ambitions. We provide access to careers and higher education fairs, as well as arranging talks, visits and guest speakers, all demonstrating the choices available to you, as well as delivering workshops that will help you to develop the life skills which will prepare you for your future work or study. We have a range, offer a range of resources to support students, including one-to-one -one interviews with qualified careers advisors and access to many online resources. The resources are available through CCG Online, through our Moodle pages, which means that you can have a look at any time that is convenient for you and at your own pace. The resources are there for you to support with your employability skills, including CV writing and mock interviews. The apprenticeship team have events during the year where students can discuss how to gain an apprenticeship and job vacancies that are available through the college. So the future's in your hands, but we'll help you get started. I'm now going to talk to you about student tutors. Student tutors offer a unique, supportive and motivational pastoral service to all full-time students at CCG uh, that are aged 16 to 18. CCG consider pastoral support as a key priority to ensuring learners achieve their potential and have the best experience while studying here. You'll be allocated a student tutor in your first week with us who will help you settle into college and be available to resolve any concerns you may have. Throughout your time with us, they will monitor your attendance, progress and personal development. Your student tutor will work in partnership with you, your teaching teams, parents, carers and any appropriate support agencies to make sure your individual needs are met. You can contact your student tutor at any time through college hours and can visit them in the student services team. We have an open door policy and at any time you want, you want them or need to speak with your student tutor, you can visit them. If they're not available, someone else will always be on hand to help you. We also have a number of contact methods to ensure communication and support is readily available. Your student tutor will be your first point of contact and you will work with them closely through your time in college. They work very closely with the course teams and the lecturers, so you will see your student tutor out across the college as well as seeing them in your weekly one-to-ones and uh, weekly ACEs and regular one-to-one session. These meetings are an opportunity for you to meet with your student tutor on a one-to-one -one basis and you will have a minimum of four planned meetings throughout the year. 
During this meeting, you'll be able to discuss your progress on your course, as well as personal aspirations and what you need to do to achieve them. Each one-to-one -one has a slightly different focus and are all designed to keep you moving through your course, keep you on track with your studies and to focus on your next steps. One-to-ones also give you the opportunity to seek advice and guidance on any real life problems you may be experiencing. The student tutors will also be able to help you get back on track if things don't go to plan. Your student tutor will also discuss your course team's feedback, grades and attendance with you. They will encourage your achievements and celebrate your successes. As part of our tutor provision, we provide our ACES programme. Our ACES mission is to prepare and inspire a generation to be global citizens who are curious about their world. ACES, which stands for Attitudes, Choices, Employability and Skills, is a weekly timetabled interactive workshop led by your student tutor that allow you the opportunity to broaden your knowledge and understand, understanding of a wide range of everyday life topics. We look at themes such as environment, social media, personal well-being, healthy relationships, youth culture, money matters and much more. In group work and discussions you'll be encouraged to work together, offer input on the different topics and bring your own ideas and examples to share to your peers. Through activities and debate you'll be able to identify the skills you are building for moving on, whether it's employment, apprenticeship, university or further study. Feedback is a really important to us as part of college life and we, provide, we very much listen to student voice. It helps us to provide students with the best experience in college and to ensure we continue to provide an outstanding service. Here are some of the things that our students have said about our ACES programme. <clears throat> I like how we can tackle hard hitting subjects in a sensitive way. I was able to use the session to talk about my mental health and it helped me a lot. Every session we end up talking about it afterwards, we look forward to them. Your achievement and personal well-being are key to your success at CCG and your student tutor will support your journey throughout college life. Now I mentioned that we like to listen to our students and actually um, our student union is a key part of college life. The student union is here to help to ensure that all our students have the best possible time while they're at college and we provide students with some credible opportunities and experiences throughout their journey. We, we are recognised as one of the strongest further education student unions in the country and we support your college life in a big way. Student voice is at the centre of everything we do at Brinsbury College and the student union play a massive role in ensuring that all students are given the opportunity to feedback on their experiences and see services improve as a result. Student voice runs across the whole college from the students to, to staff and senior managers. Student reps, well we have a rep for every class, one or two are elected every year and they're the voice of their class. They communicate their views and opinions to their classmate, uh, to both from their class to the student union and from the student union to their class. The college also has a strong leadership student leadership team known as the student executive who have a larger responsibility to listen to student voice. They help run the student union and are involved in supporting the college to make decisions and <clears throat> that impacts on students. The student union and the student executives are led by the student officers, presidents and vice presidents who are elected by, in by the student body. Student reps will attend a number of student conferences throughout the year where they will get the opportunity to develop their skills, feedback to their senior managers and represent the views of their classes. An example of student feedback at Brinsbury and actions taken have continued to create student spaces such as the student union or the SU, uh, SUB, which is the student union at Brinsbury. As you can see, our student executive take part in a number of fun activities that include student executive training day, student committee meetings and fundraising events throughout the year. It is really important that we develop our student skills and our student executive have enjoyed some great opportunities such as training on how to observe lessons, regular meetings with senior manager, managers, managing budgets and interviewing for key college positions within the group, as well as supporting a variety of activities and fun days that we have to promote key messages to students. Supporting our student union is our extra provision and Brinsbury Extra provides you with a number of opportunities outside your course, including events, clubs, volunteering and trips to ensure that you have the best possible experience whilst you're studying at college. We run lots of events throughout the year with plenty you can get involved with and also run weekly clubs. 
that are open to all students. Um, we try to include different clubs every week. Now, whether you're studying at Brinsbury or any of our other sites, you can access clubs across the group. Every year, we also run UK trips to places such as Thought Park and Harry Potter Studios. And our trips abroad programme includes places such as Disneyland Paris, Iceland, Costa Rica, uh, where students have had some amazing experiences all over the world. One of our most popular trips is our volunteering trip to Kenya to help support underprivileged children. And we have worked hard with a project in the, there for over the last 10 years and hundreds of staff and students have volunteered. This year we're planning trips to Wales, Greece, Disneyland and Paris, although in the current climate those trips are going to be towards the end of this year rather than throughout. But there's a load of experiences that you will be able to get involved in. We also opportunities to offer opportunities to do your work placements abroad as part of the Erasmus programme and a whole host of other uh, ways in which you can get involved in doing something new. Make sure you follow us on social media to keep up to date with college life. There is loads to get involved with and there's lots of opportunities and experiences to be had with Brinsbury Student Union. We look forward to welcoming you next September. Uh, and hope that you will get involved in all sorts of things across our campuses. We're now going to show you a video created by our student union, um, which tells you, um, shows you the highlights for them of this last year. Despite a bit of lockdown at the end, our student union and our students got involved in so much and they had a great time. So here's a video that they created to show you their highlights of the year. Working for the outstanding, so making sure they be the best person, as you said, to be outstanding in who they can be, you know. Make sure they have the best experience at their college. Oh, well, yes, I'm a student exec. I'm approachable, so I can't be sociable. Your opinions matter, so I come for a chat off. Bring out diversity and tackle adversity. We'll even help you if you want to go to university. We are kind, so speak your mind. <laughs> we cater to everyone, great and small, so come to our open day and come say hey. We are CCG, we are student exec. If you need help with anything, we'll get you set. We are CCG! <laughs> two years Curly SU have worked so hard with students, with reps, exec and staff to project student voice across the college and this result just shows how amazing it really is to be at Curly. It really is outstanding. So worthy, we're outstanding. This means we can continue to push student voice further and harder than it's ever been before. This is only our first step. I'm proud. 
Okay. Uh, we're really proud of that video. Our students did an amazing job um, throughout last year and particularly as everything changed, obviously, in the last moments of the year uh, and they had to do some things differently. Um, we're going to take some questions now and I'm going to ask one of my colleagues in a minute. While we're waiting for that, I just want to mention to you a couple of other services. First up, uh, Student Finance. There is a variety of financial support available to students uh, through bursary. It's a means tested uh, bursary, but ultimately we may be able to help you with uh, costs of travel, books, equipment, trips, and a variety of other things. So um, you can find out some more information about the criteria for bursary on our website uh, under College Life Financial Support. Um, but there is that bursary available for you to, to consider as well if you're looking at travel costs or whatever it may be to our Brinsbury campus. In addition, um, our additional learning support will be hosting some events over the in the future or some discussions with any students who have particular learning needs who need support in college. It may be in-class support and it may be out-of-class support, but we have a wealth of experienced staff able to help you on your programmes if you have um, some needs to, that we need to, to consider as you study with us. They will uh, contact you or you can make contact with them or through your application, uh, we will identify that you need a meeting with our ALS team and our ALS team will meet with you as an individual and look at your needs and what you need to do at college. So um, let's take some questions. Holly, I believe you're going to help me with some questions this morning. So Holly, have we got some questions in the chat? Lovely. Uh, yes, we do. And um, we've got some really good questions in uh, the Q&A box. So thank you for those. Um, I'll try and get through as many as possible. Some are um, a little bit subject specific and we do have sessions running through the rest of the day today as well. Um, we have um, coming up at 11 o'clock, we have agriculture, 12 p.m. We have horticulture and arboriculture and at 1 p.m. We have animal management and equine. So if any of those uh, questions are subject specific perhaps drop into those sessions as well um, so for you Lisa I've got a question here that says how do I get involved with the student union and does being a student rep look good on my CV slash UCAS application brilliant questions well firstly every single student who enrolls across our group which is now at about 22,000 students are part of our student union and part of ccg student union at brinsbury it's more around six seven hundred students and they'll be part of our student union there um, and they will uh, automatically get uh, firstly all the benefits of being represented by the student union Within the first couple of weeks at college, you'll be asked to put yourself forward as a rep in your first, uh, in your ACES session called Your Voice, Your Choice. And uh, we will elect reps and then get going with you. And our student reps and our executive do loads straight from the beginning of term. As for your CV, it looks fantastic on your CV. Um, and actually you will get a personal reference from us as an organization and from the student union that says that you have contributed to your college experience and the skills that you've developed. I'm actually an ex-student president myself of Chichester College uh, and have been, been working with the student union for a while and we've seen some amazing students go on to use their experiences in the SU for their next step. So it's a, it's a great opportunity and one we will certainly identify the skills you develop from and make sure that they're uh, on your references and encourage you to use them in applications in the future. That's great, thank you so much. Um, another question here, is there a transport service to Brinsbury? Yes, there is Brinsbury bus service. We do have a, a bus service directly for Brinsbury. Uh, we have a couple of ways you could access that. The first is we have uh, B1, B2 and B3 routes. So we have routes coming in, uh, bus services that come in. Uh, one starts in Crawley and works its way through that part of the county. One starts in Shoreham through, Hor uh, through Worthing and then up through the county. And the other starts in Chichester and goes on a route into the campus. Those services are available to our students. They are um, subsidised by the college, but there is obviously a cost. And we have an app that launches this week where you can buy your ticket. So um, there are a number of ways you can travel onto campus uh, through those routes. And in addition, we also run a shuttle service from Paulborough train station. So if you want to get the train in, but you need to get up to us from the station, uh, you can join our B9 shuttle service uh, to get onto campus. Thanks for that. Um, I've got another question here that says, um, are trips funded by the college or do I have to pay? Um, 
there's a variety of answers to that. Very much depends on the trip. Certainly, our overseas program, you will have to pay some of that, to, some of the cost for that. Obviously, we don't look to make money from our trips. What we do is look to give you opportunities. So we'll find the best deals we can for students. Um, there are some trips that you'll go on with your course, maybe um, that will be free, and others where you might have to pay a small amount. Again, if you're in receipt of bursary, bursary can help with your trip costs. Um, but um, a lot of the opportunities are at very low cost anyway. Perfect. Um, got another one here that says, um, what sort of clubs are available at Brinsbury and can students run clubs themselves? Okay, so um, the uh, Richmond programs tend to change each year based on what student wants, uh, student body wants, because we try to get them involved. Um, and at Brinsbury, we look, we've run things from various things, from yoga to some outdoor activity stuff. Um, we're very keen to get students to run clubs and support them to do that. We will support that. But it, uh, and, uh, and we'll put staff in to support it as well. So our, our programmes will very much vary each year, um, but we'll be led by what our students want. And we would encourage you to run a club as well and get involved with your uh, other students in uh, at Brinsbury College. Perfect. Um, I think these questions, uh, so these ones would go hand in hand as well. What do I do if I feel unwell and cannot attend a lesson? Okay, so um, obviously if you are unwell and can't come into college, your first point of contact will be your student tutor. Uh, that person is there for you completely. Like I said, they'll do your one-to-ones and aces, but they're also looking after you. So if you're unwell, you would let uh, your student tutor know, who would tell everyone, we'll check you're all right, we'll keep an eye, uh, keep in touch with you, and hopefully welcome you back to college very quickly. Another one here we've got, is there help for students uh, with their well-being and mental health? Yeah, so our student tutor team, like I say, they, they're a, a holistic support to you and they're, they're trained in a variety of different ways to help you. But we do have a safeguarding and well-being team as well who will work with students with, uh, who need particular levels of support. Uh, and we have a variety of um, external uh, organisations that we work with that we can refer students to. So. Uh, essentially, we call it a toolkit. We have a variety of tools in our kit to help students in who have um, need extra support or are struggling with their mental health and well-being, or just need to talk to someone. Uh, and we can definitely help them. We have a counselling service on our sites, and at Brinsbury, that's one or two days a week, as well as our safeguarding and well-being team. So there's plenty of people to help you, no matter what's going on for you. Great. Uh, another one uh, just regarding support as well. Um, quite a specific one here. We've got, is there any support slash flexibility for parents? I have two kids with special needs who get picked up for school at 9am. So depending on the start and finish times, it could be difficult. Uh, it's certainly something we'd look at. Uh, it's certainly something we'd look at work, we try and work with you on. We're, we're very keen um, to actually um, try and make access to education as, uh, as, as open as possible. And we will look at uh, opportunities that, that can work. We do need to be mindful of the, you know, if a lesson starts and that is um, um, at a particular time and somebody's going to come in late regularly, that's going to have an impact on the lesson. But we would look at an individual situation and see how we could help you in that scenario for sure. I noticed uh, while I was talking about that, about mature students, we have, a, we have a large mature student population on all our sites. And at Bridgebury in particular, some of those courses uh, have some mature students who are either retraining or further developing their skills. So as a mature student, you would not feel out of place on any site. Great, thank you for that. Um, I am just going to aim a question at another member of the panel here, Hayley. Um, is there an opportunity for any taster days or an opportunity to visit the site? Hi, um, then hopefully with the current situation with COVID-19, we are looking at various options going forward to try and allow you to come in and see the site. Um, under the current circumstances with COVID-19, we're, we're not allowed to bring you on site at the moment, but we will be looking at how we can do that in the future. Um, this could possibly be through bookable tours, but if you keep an eye on our website, um, then we'll be able to keep you up to date there. Thanks for that, Hayley. Um, 
Honey, if I could just add, we will absolutely welcome you as soon as we can. We're desperate to see, be able to open our doors to you all so you can see what we have to offer. Our students are on site and they're doing amazingly well at adapting to the situations and the restrictions. And I know as soon as we can, we will have you on site and give you an opportunity to see what we have to offer. Great, thanks Lisa. Um, we've got time for a couple more questions here. So we've got, um, how many uh, students on campus at Brinsbury and what are the class sizes like? Okay, class sizes at Brinsbury, I mean, class sizes do vary across the board. It's very difficult to tell me, for me to say to you, this will be your class size. You're looking at a class size of between 15 and 18 on most programmes. Obviously at Brinsbury, because a lot, all, a lot of our programmes are practical, so you'll be on our animal unit working with animals or in the equine stables or down on the farm or, you know, in our greenhouses doing stuff. We have to be uh, accommodate the number of classes, a number of people in the group by the space we have to work with those animals. Um, so you're looking at probably around 15 as a class size uh, and something that um, uh, will vary a little bit depending on uh, what size um the group is and what activity you're doing obviously we can't have 30 people on our horses uh, at once because uh, the horses will get a little bit um uh, stressed out with that shall we say um but we'll make sure that you all have access to equipment and, uh, and uh, resources that you need as far as how many students are on campus at any one time at brinsbury you're probably looking between four and five hundred students on campus whilst it's our biggest site um, uh, as far as um, physical site, Brinsbury is 570 acres, beautiful farm and land that we use to teach the, our, our land-based courses. It's actually our smallest student body, bar Haver Tea, because that's just open. So um, it's nice and friendly. It's a lovely community, Brinsbury, and a lot of our students talk about that community as one of the reasons that they come and choose to be with us. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just going to finish with one uh, last question. It's quite a good one to end on is when can I apply? When can you apply? Well, hopefully by next week. Uh, we're looking to open applications next week from the website and uh, we hope that you will all be able to join us uh, in applying uh, next week. We will keep you updated with that information and our website does tell, tell you when we're applications will open. But we expect applications to be able to be, uh, uh, you can apply in the next week or two. Okay. I think then, that's all our questions. I think that um, we, it's been a great session this morning. We're really glad you joined us. We really look forward to being able to welcome you to Brinsbury College and to be part of the Chichester College group. We have a huge amount to offer and we're very proud of all of our students. So we look forward to seeing you in the future. If you have any questions, you can contact our admissions team, our marketing team, look on the website. We will be there for you. And I hope you're gonna see some of our curriculum based sessions that happen later today. We've got some great stuff for you. And if you're interested in those courses, make sure you jump onto them. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you next September.